Hi FB Writers. This is my first video in English, my first tutorial in English, so sorry about that, sorry for my accent. So basically today I'd like to share with you a quick tutorial on how to create a 3D part for your quadcopter using a picture. So starting from a picture, finishing on the 3D modeling system with any application you like. I will be using Tinkercad just because I don't know how to use the others, basically. Uh, I've done the exercise with the Viga frame from Fred Dosh, which is a French um, FPV writer, and I do share the link to his website on the description below. Do have a look if you want to see some beautiful work, some beautiful frame. Okay, if you're ready, if you're okay to listen to a French guy speaking English, let's move to the uh, tutorial and see if it can help you. Okay guys, so those are the parts that I designed for this frame, but obviously it could be any frame. And I did it using initially a picture, a picture of the bottom plate for this bumper, picture of the top of the arm, sorry, for this arm protection, picture of the top plate for the GoPro support here. And um, basically you will see it could be a bit difficult at the beginning, especially if you don't know how to use your 3D software or application. But at the end of the day, that's not that much difficult. So basically what we need, we need obviously the picture, the picture of the, the part you're going to use. So here it is the top plate, and I will be especially using the front part of it. Then you need a software to treat this picture. So in my case, it will be Photoshop. Then this Inkscape software that will be basically transforming the picture in a vectorial picture and obviously you need your uh, 3D software or application. Let's start by the picture part with Photoshop. So let's open it. Okay, so this is open. Let's do file, open, look for the picture you need. This one. Here, this is the picture. I will, as I said, um, especially look for the front part of this picture where I will try to design the, um, the, the, the GoPro support that I need here. So what I will do, I will first crop the picture. So you do the crop as you want, obviously, but I will say here I need like that. It will be enough just taking the front part. Okay, fair enough. And then I need to remove the background. As you can see, there is this kind of um, beige, uh, kind of white background. I do need to remove it, but I will not remove it everywhere. I will explain you why. So using the selection tool here, I select the background. I do select the background on those holes, and I do select the background on the fixation holes on this side and this side only. Why decide only? Just because I will then cut the part in two and work with symmetry. So we'll just unlock the frame. The um, how you call that in English? Sorry. Unlock the layer. Yeah, sorry. Unlock the layer and delete the background. I will keep my selection as it is and go to selection um, menu. Reverse the selection, so this part is only the carbon which is selected. I'll take a color black and we'll paint the, um, the carbon in black. Now it is over with Photoshop. I will just save my file and I do need to save it as a PNG. Okay. Now, so I have my file in PNG here, as you can see, I'm moving to Inkscape. Okay, here we are. Obviously opening twice. So I'm going to File, Open, look for the, um, the picture we need. This one, so the PNG one that we just saved from Photoshop. Okay. Once we're there, just a left click on the picture and you can see around there is a kind of frame with all those arrows. Then you go here to pass. 
in French chemin, and the third line is vectorisé, an objet matriciel. So how to say that in English, I frankly don't know. So just use this menu, basically. Click on it. Here you click on update, and you will see this picture. And on this part on the left, you can act on the, I will say, the limit of light the, the software will use. So from the basic, at least on my computer, is 0.45. I will move it to 0.99 and update. As you have, may have seen here, we had some pixels that were not so nice. And increasing this figure, just reduce the number of pixels on the, on the line here. Validate, close this part. So back in the main part of the software, file, save as, and you need to save as SVG. Done. This being done, you move to your 3D software application, any of them, in my case, Tinkercad, which is definitely not the most complex one, but anyway, create a new 3D model. Once you're there, import, select the file. So look for the file you need. You need to use the SVG file, import, And as you can see, the, the part is really massive. And what you need is need to basically look at the, the part, the real part, and not the picture and the 3D part, and check the, the measurement. So I know that from here to here, the measurement is 25.7. So what I need to do, I press Shift key and move this to keep all the dimension in the same ratio, moving back here. And I will ensure to reach this 25.7. Here, as you can see, it's 38.17. I'm going to 25.7. So here you can decrease a bit this figure to be more precise. Sorry, 25.7. Okay, perfect. And then I would say that's it. You have the base to work. You know what I do now. You can crop all the parts you need and start modeling the, the end of your, your 3D part. Basically what I've done on this one, as I said, I was using only a part of it and duplicate it. So here I will remove this part that I don't need. And I will put a rule here, a ruler. Put it at zero. Okay. And I know that the length here is 25.7, meaning that half of it, half of this part, so half of 25.7, will be cut. So what I do, I'm just placing this here. You, obviously, uh, some of the software are working differently. And I will cut the part into from, uh, basically from the, um, from the middle. Meaning that I will cut the part from 12.85. Meaning that this part that will be on the top of this to remove a part will be starting from 12.85. Then I select both parts, assemble them, finish. As you can see, it is cut. The holes here, fixation holes, are not perfect. Obviously, you can recreate them, not a big deal. Then I copy paste this part, just reverse the um, the side and I need it to start from 12.85. I will just 
reassemble both of them. And here you can see there is a kind of line. It means that the assembly is not perfect. So what you can do, it's okay. Ungroup the both, uh, both part and move this one a little bit on the side. So instead of 12.85, we put 12.84 and should be enough to make a perfect shape. As you can see, the line disappear. So meaning that my part now is ready to be worked out and to do something. So now it is up to you to move it up or do whatever, to cut it, to make the, um, the part on a specific angle. I don't know, maybe you're using your GoPro with a, an angle, a tilt of, I don't know, at 20, 25 degree, whatever actually. So just cutting the part, etc, etc. Obviously there is many, many work to be done again on this, uh, of course, but as a first start, I hope it will help you. Uh, what else? Nothing. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Once again, sorry for my English. Sorry to be as intelligent. Uh, sometimes I'm looking for my words, but I hope it helped. And if you do like the video, please subscribe, please like it. It will just let me know that you agree kind of to, uh, to let me know working on some other video in English. See you. Have a good day.